Ready, set, draw! Welcome guys to another box opening video. Today I have a Into the Inklands set three box. This is my first box opening of the entire set. I'm really looking forward to getting this thing cracked open and seeing what I can get inside. But if you have not been to our channel before, just a heads up, we do take a little more time to go through the commons and uncommons just because we have a deep appreciation for this game, not only for the collecting purposes, but also for the gameplay. So without further ado, let's go. And I'm here too. Yeah, we got Tyler in the background giving us audio feedback. What's up? <laughs> okay. Let's get these packs out of here. Every single time, I can't stop shaking every single time I open a first box. It's crazy. <laughs> I can't stop shaking. Can you sign this for you? Okay. Okay. Whew. Let's go. So, I am personally looking to build a sapphire steel deck. Oh my gosh. That's rares and lower for the Glimmer Gang Gauntlet. Shout out to that tournament. So I'm hoping to get some steals and sapphire good cards. All right, we got Pua. We got Vault Door. Eeyore. Stitch Little Rocket. Milo Thatch. Quick Patch. And then we got the Uncommon Slot. Briar Tuck. Mama Odie. Ooh, the Bayou. Really good combo with this Beast Relentless and Sheriff of Nottingham. Pretty dangerous. A rare to start it off. Gustav the Giant. A little, a little scary. Good location. Uh, oh my God. It's just, it's Robin Hood on the first pack. Let's start yes. Fire. Okay. Let's go, baby. Robin Hood on the very first pack. Oh, let's go. And we have an uncommon foil. Scrooge McDuck. All right. Nice. Nice. Very, very cool. Let's just skip over that super rare slot and just. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I have it. sleeves here for... Oh, there's a side loader. All my penny sleeves, the clear ones, are all very random. I don't have them all grouped up like I should. You know what? Maybe that'll work. That'll work. Dang, I did not expect that on the very first pack. Bro. That's pretty sweet. That's a, that's okay, a and that's a good one. Okay. Rule cards out of the way. Those the rule cards are pretty neat. I like how they're showing you how to play. The art puzzle that, on the, were, that were in the old packs, I appreciate those. I can no longer assemble the art in the very first four packs, we but cannot, hey. We can no longer achieve Lord Connor. Yes, Rufus, Mickey Mouse, Billy Bones. What a fun name to say. Zazu, this guy's legit. Oh. Potentially do, questing for two at a location early on in the game. That's pretty sweet. Neverland, speaking of locations. Scroop, backstabber, this guy. I still need more. Yeah, this guy hates. I, I hate this guy. I said this guy hates. He does hate. <laughs> He'd be hating. He, he'd be hating. All right, Scrooge McDuck, Rise of the Titans, and we... <gasps> RLS Legacy. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is spicy. And Morph. Oh, what in the... God, what a pack. What a pack, dude. Ladies I love it. We're already having problems. Okay, and a common flotsam. Okay, dude, straight up bangers so far. Not a miss yet. All out war. Over here. Okay, you already opened your box. Don't I you? did. <laughs> video two. Video number. Video number two. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, McDuck Manor. Two lore on four. That's pretty sweet for a location. You got to chew through nine willpower to get that sucker. Dang. Only one to move there. I could do it. Agrabah. Three? Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm feeling good about locations. Don Carnage. Patch. Queen of Hearts, that villain synergy, baby. Bro. Dive Bomb. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we got... Ooh, goodness gracious. Dewey with the support. Nice. Mama Odie singing some songs. Mystical Maven. I really, really like this card. And a rare, the lamp. I love lamp. I really love lamp. All right, and distract. I love lamp. Okay. It's an itty bitty living space, though. <laughs> Rule cards. We know the rules. 
Do we? Yes. Okay. Diablo, Pluto, Baboom! The card we got to reveal for this set. Much appreciated. Love the card. You get special placement, Baboom. Okay. We have Jim Hawkins. Not the Jim Hawkins that we Airfoil, have. Cleansing Rainwater, Cusco's Palace, Hydros, Simba. Okay, now we get the Simba. next slot. Here we go. Here we go. Minnie Mouse, musical artist. I like this card. Pretty sweet. Singer 3. Pretty good. Super rare. Magicka Dispel. Nice. I like it. Now, this card, I will say, having no lore and requiring items to have it gain lore, that's a little bit scary to me, but, I mean, I've made an Amethyst Sapphire item deck before. I think we can make her work. We can do it again. And we have a foil, Rise of the Titans. Okay. Uh, right there. Olympus would be that way. Yes. So we have Magicka Dispel as our first super of the box. Next up. Could be worse. Yeah, we could have no supers. Yeah, like we did for the first three packs. <laughs> okay. Magic Carpet. Nice. Pretty sweet. Made Mirian Razul. Pretty much kind of like Prince Eric in a way, but not, not the Challenger version. Uh, Webby Vanderquack. Sir Hiss. A little evasive 3 1. We could do it. We could do it. Miss Bianca. A functional reprint of Sebastian, but a different character, so we appreciate it. 99 Puppies. A little bit of a. Oh, puppies are going to win immediately. Cool. Oh, Jolly Roger. I appreciate it. Pirates be looking good, though. And Genie. Cramped in a lamp. Cramped in the card frame. Maybe. Just maybe. No, it's not going to work. Okay, Maui's Place of Exile as the first rare. And then we have On Your Feet now. On Your Feet, ladies and gentlemen. I actually li I like this a lot if you can make it work with a Grand Pabby. And then maybe use that Sapphire item stuff to heal up all the characters that got damaged. Pabby. Could be pretty cool. And then a Magic Broom, the big sweeper and foil. I'm, so I'm sad that it doesn't actually sweep. Yeah, yeah. It'll be all right, though. Let's see. What do we have next? It's been a little bit since we got one of them uh, one of them golden pentagons. All right. The Queen, Hateful Rival. Captain Amelia. Helga St. Clair. Nutsy. Skippy. Orville. Ace Pilot. Wildcat. Banishing chosen items on exert seems pretty cool. I'm sad as an item deck player myself, but hey... We gotta make the game more interactive, you know what I'm saying? Magic of Dispel, Tinkerbell, <gasps> Cursed Marfolk. That is a wonderful rare. Two lore for one. Yes, please. <gasps> Super Shinzi. All right. And then we have a foil McDuck Manor. How appropriate that McDuck Manor would be foil. As it should be. As it should be. Now, Shinzi's pretty interesting. When she gets when she's at a location, she gets plus three strength. And whenever she challenges another character, you get to draw a card. So if locations are good in the Emerald decks, I can see Shinzi getting some major play. All right, we got an Iago, King Louie, three lore. Goodness gracious, I love it. Seven, seven for seven. Yes, lottery winner. Robin Hood Voyage, great card. Flotsam, Kida with the welcome to the... Inklands in Atlantean. Wonderful flavor there. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Has my has set my heart. Banished chosen item in Emerald. I'm I'm worried about it, I'm not gonna lie. Captain Hook's Rapier. Trigger. And then we have a rare Huey. Draw three cards, folks. You saw that text, right? Draw three cards. If you can I, set up the yeah, Duck Tales yeah, Exodia, yeah, Louis, Louis. I know you got to set up that Duck Tales Exodia to get legendary Lucky Dime. Ah. Okay, talk about Magicka Dispel with the item. Gain seven lore with this puppy out. That's pretty sweet. And a foil Starlight Vial. Very very nice. Okay, we're gonna put this in that sleeve just like we should, and then oh, it's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. Oh, goodness. Okay. So now we get to move on to the next pack. Guys, so far, we have two legends. 
please send me all of your energy. Send me every bit of energy you can. I want one of those enchanteds. I want one. Eeyore, Agrabah, Zazu, Dalmatian Puppy. Hey, only one puppy so far. Flint Heart Glomgold. Little John with the bodyguard help. And then we have... Oh, yeah, this is the uncommon. Then we have Hey Hey, Accidental Explorer. And then a rare Stratos. Okay, this guy's a win condition for the Titans. For Stratos. sure. All right. And we have another rare Heart of Atlantis. Nice. Staple two lanterns together. And then we have an uncommon foil Friar Tuck. All right. Boys, this job of opening packs gets me sweating. I care, okay. Put this man a towel. Because <laughs> he'd be sweating. All right. So, I'm good for one cough here in a second. <clears throat> Got to clear the throat. Okay. Lena Saberwing. Starting off the comments. Grandma Tala. That is a great card. Develop your brain oh, yeah. on a 3-3-1 lore card. All right. Sheriff or Nottingham. Stitch. Don Carnage. Joshua Sweet. Jafar. Lamp Thief. Good shift target. Tiana's Palace. Kit Cloud Kicker. Wonderful tempo play. Imagine. Imagine playing this and bouncing their two cost character, just completely setting them back. Map to treasure or map of treasure planet. So awesome. Nice. And then we have a super rare Pongo hey. Determined Father. All right. Pongers. <gasps> it happened. It happened. Oh, snap. The sorcerer has <laughs> I've pulled and enchanted on a on video. On camera! On camera! Yes! <laughs> yes! I have done it. Oh my gosh! It happened! <sighs> okay. All right. First ever enchanted item. Show the gold, the gold border. I'm, I've got it right here. This is where the camera close-up's going to be. Okay. Exert one ink... Name a card, then reveal the top card of your deck. If it's the name card, put that card into your hand. Otherwise, put it on the top of the deck. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> I cannot believe I pulled an Enchanted in the first box I opened this set. That already dwarfs the luck I had for other sets. It took me, like, I never pulled an Enchanted in set two. And it took me, like, six boxes from set one. to. Yeah. Oh, my. <sighs> it happened. I just asked for everyone's energy. They listened. Share your energy. They listened. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. I set something. I put this to the side just in case this happened, guys. I had a feeling, and it rewarded me. So I'm going to slide this puppy in the top loader and then put this right in frame to the side. It happened. It happened. Everything else is just gravy now. What a day. Oh, boy. What a day. Enchanted City, baby. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to post this video. This is going to be so hype. Okay. I have to, I'm, I'm like really having to calm down. Okay. Woo. Take a second. All right. Okay. Woo. Forbidden Mountain. Well, you got to keep going to the packs because I know you want to see more. All right, Rufus. Pon I just left Pongo here to the side. Ba-boom. God, I can't, I see, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I can't calm down right now. I'm so excited I got an enchanted card in, about, in a box. Oh my gosh. Okay, Healwood has been hurt. Chernabog's follower. Pluto, basically a lantern on a stick. Four characters, this is a wonderful card. How Far I'll Go, probably one of my favorite arts of the set. Great job to Anna Rudd and Anna Stosik. This ramp card is legit. Getting card draw. Captain Hook Master Swordsman doing Scar Vicious Cheater things. And then we have a rare Helga Sinclair. Woo! Okay. And then a Gizmo Suit Foil. It feels really weird to open more packs after opening Enchanted, guys. I'm this it feels like I'm like I don't know. It I'm trying to just, I'm trying to compare the feeling to something. It feels like uh you just got your paycheck and they kept on handing you more cash for some reason. Okay, 
Bestow a Gift, McDuck Manor, Razul, Jim Hawkins, Jetsum, Mr. Snoops, Thaddeus. Oh, there's a little misprint there. Look at that. A little dot on the Mr. Snoops. Thaddeus E. Clang. I've got a dream. Hey, gain lore equal to that location's lore. It doesn't really matter what this does for two when it's a song. It's a song that can gain you lore instantaneously. That's got to be dangerous. Am I right? Okay, click... Uh, Okay, Kit Cloud Kicker. This for three lore, Floodborne Ally, two strength, five willpower that you can shift on turn three. That's spice. That's spice. Oh my gosh. Okay, Baloo, gaining two. Speaking of gaining lore instantly, gain two lore just when he's banished for doing bodyguard things. That's awesome. And then a rare Heart of Tafiti. Nice. <gasps> a foil super. What a box. Alice, T Alchemist. I like the idea of making like alchemy with your teas. That's pretty sweet. All right. Oh my gosh. I'm still on that enchanted high right now, guys. This is, I'm sorry if it's getting a little overboard for you. I just, oh my gosh. Whew. Okay. Well, I am going to try and find another legendary. I feel like I'm, I feel wrong for asking for more. Honestly, I would be satisfied with this box just how it is, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be complaining for more. Louie, Chill Nephew, Minnie Mouse, Moana, Evasive 3 4 with Moana, you can shift onto her too. Cubby, Boss's Orders, not the same as the Pokemon Boss's Orders, but we will still take it. Ursula Deceiver, It Calls Me. Mr. Smee, so many captains in the game right now. I don't even think that this is a, honestly that hard of a condition to meet for two lore, for two on a 3-3. Three, three. You take one damage, but sometimes that can even be a bonus. So, yeah. Oh, the Queen's Castle, one of the best locations in the set. Getting two lore and drawing a card for each character you have here. Yes, please. <gasps> Legendary. Hydra. Nice. A Ruby Legendary. Be still my beating heart. Okay. And then what's the next card, just in case? A foil Neverland. Okay. I initially was a little underwhelmed by Hydra, but the more I think about it, the more I think, you know, just being able to quest for two and then tell them like, hey, find a unique way to deal with this or you're going to take some major damage. That's a pretty cool condition to me. All right. Lucky Dime, Hydra, Robin Hood, and an Enchanted. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see. We got Diablo, Pluto, Kida, Kakamura, Sir Hiss, uh, Quick Patch, Wendy Darling, Slightly, Scrooge's Top Hat, Mufasa, our first rare, into a super rare. We got 310. Simba. How thematic, guys. Mufasa steps out of the way so Sin can, Simba can be a fighting prince. Getting to choose one and deal two damage on play or draw two cards and discard two cards, which discarding doesn't even have to be a drawback sometimes. That's pretty legit. I like it. And then a foil 99 puppies. Sweet. All right. Whew. My chase rare, personally, or ch chase legendary, excuse me, my chase legendary for the set is the uh, Jafar, but also the Ursula, the Emerald Ursula. Jim Hawkins is pretty sweet, but honestly, I mean, they're all good, if I'm being honest. Okay, Maid Marian, Gizmo Suit, Webby Vanderquack, Milo Thatch, Boss's Orders, Friar Tuck, Mama Odie, Queen of Hearts, Rare Peter Pan. Honestly, this is strictly better to me than the uh, Tigger. Tigger was a six cost inkable four, four with two lore. This guy, well, he had a vase of two, but this guy has like extra text and more willpower. It's pretty sweet. Then P another Peter Pan. Look at that. Okay. And then we have the rare or the foil Milo Thatch. All right. We have plenty of packs left. We're sitting on like, what is that? Like eight packs left? Eight packs to go? Yes, please. All right, we know the rules. Okay, repair. 
Mickey Mouse, Billy Bones, Skippy, Quick Patch, Lithos, Maui, Dewey, and for the first slot, we have a super rare Chernabog. Guys, look how menacing this is. Is this Lorcana? Oh my gosh. 10. Oh my. Okay, and then we have a, another super rare Lyle Tiberius Rourke. This guy is taking all your lore, all of them. Just imagine slapping down a Lyle. When you have a wide board against someone playing Ruby, they play Be Prepared, and you're like, guess what? You're about to lose all that lore if you wipe my board. It's pretty sweet. And a foil Peter Pan. Very nice. All right, we're coming in with the supers later. That's what happened. Legendary in the first pack. Enchanted to follow. The supers come after. All right, we got a pool, a vault door, Helga Sinclair, Nutsy, Airfoil, Neverland, Ooh, Starkey starting the uncommons, Simba, Jolly Roger, we will take it. And then our first slot is The Boss is on a Roll. Beautiful song, gain one lore on a song. It's beautiful. And then a super genie. I'm going to say, this card, a little underwhelmed at first, but I think you really can't discount any card that says the words, draw three cards. If the condition's decent enough, which shuffling him back in after he quests to draw three, I mean, he's still getting you two cards, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty lit. Oh, a rare. Oh, foil Pluto. This guy's so good. A bodyguard, three, eight, two lore. At the start of your turn, heal three off of them. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I got to say, and if you aren't chasing specific legendaries, like some people might not like Lucky Dime or Hydra. I think a lot of people like Robin Hood. But, and everybody would take an Enchanted, obviously. But I feel like this box has been really good as far as playable cards in the other slots and then decent legendaries. Like, come on. Firebird... Captain Amelia, Chief Tui, Milo Thatch, Strike a Good Match, Patch. Wow, all this. Are these all Milo Thatch, Strike a Good Match, Patch. Okay. The Sorcerer's Tower. All right. Working with some brooms. And then 99 Puppies. Robin's Bow. All right. For the first slot, we got a rare Lucky. This is a story about a card named Lucky. <laughs> if you know, you know. Okay. Oh, and we got Bell's House for the other rare a little item synergy. I like how you could play multiple of these. And if you do have a character at both, it can make your items less and less and less for every Bell's House you have. I've often wondered, like, what's the point of playing multiple locations? Ooh, last ditch effort in the foil. Just because to follow up on that previous thought, playing multiple locations can make it where like, OK, well, I'm not going to move back and forth to locations unless it unless it benefits me. So what's the benefit of having both? And cards like Bell's House and the Pride Lands discounting characters, stuff like that, it makes it worthwhile to kind of like play both and have a character at each one. All right. The Queen, Kit Cloud Kicker, Ward, and one lore on a one drop. I'll take it all day long. Olympus would be that way. Della Duck, I will find my way. Cleansing Rainwater, Magic Broom, Wildcat's Wrench. Kind of sneaky good, honestly. I think having this in play and just continuously continuously being able to heal off your uh, locations, they're going to take hits, so I like that. The Queen, ooh, what a beautiful set of art. Goodness gracious. Good job to Jennifer Gaduzzi and Livio Cacciatore. Wonderful job, guys. And we have a rare John Silver. Another reason to play multiple locations. This guy gets plus one, plus one lore and resist one for each one. And the oh, legendary Maleficent. Okay, we are moving damage. We are drawing cards. We are having a wonderful box opening experience. Legendary, baby. That's number four. Oh, my gosh. And a Magicka Dispel and Foil. Whew. Guys, this may... I mean, honestly, opening an Enchanted on, on video is a big deal. Uh, that's better than almost every other box opening I've ever had on or off camera. 
But getting four legends in an enchanted feels like like I, I I would not be shocked if we don't open another legendary at all, just because I feel like we already got the nuts. So I consider this an absolute win. Okay, Magic Broom, King Louis, three lore seven seven seven. All right, Twitch chat on a card. Robin Hood, Kakamora. I will find my way. Miss Bianca. Ooh, the Bayou. The Busted Bayou Combo. Scroop. Flint Heart Glomgold. Maui Whale. This guy's taking out all the locations. He's smacking down and flooding them all. Okay, and we got a super rare Windy Darling. Support and Ward. I'm curious to see if that one willpower makes this thing tough to play and keep. But I will say, Ward means you got a challenge into it. Three Strength means it probably trades. This seems like a pretty good super. I, I, I can see it working out. Webby Vanderquack with the foil. Okay. Guys, this, we got, we still have four more packs plus this one. We're on, we're on good time here. Thank you for sticking around. If you were made it this far into the video while I struggle to open this pack. Hopefully you also like the introduction of this extra camera we added so you can see our faces and reactions when we pull stuff. It's kind of hard for my hands alone to just show my reactions. I probably with the exception of that Enchanted. I probably was shaking quite a bit. Uh, the Magic Broom, Louie, Gizmo Suit, Milo Thatch, Jetsam, Orville, and we have Wildcat, Jafar, good shift target, Little John, we have a rare Pluto, another Pluto. We are building up that playset, baby. Okay, and then we have another rare Aurelian Gyro Sensor. Pretty cool. It's like, a, like it feels like a unique item to the story of Lorcana. So I really like the effect of this. Honestly, just whenever you quest, you get to look at the top. Ooh, Jolly Roger foil. That is sweet. Hey, I think that's th four or three Jolly Rogers so far. So we're honestly in one box. We're kind of getting there for setting up the Jolly Roger pirates. Okay, that Steel Ruby Pirates. It's one of those decks I think everybody's considering, depending on their pulls, on if they want to build that first. It's just too good. All right, Grandma Tala, Olympus would be that way. Peter Pan, Cubby, Dalmatian Puppy, number two for the box. Nani. And, ooh, Kit Cloud Kicker again. The Tempo Spinner himself. Magicka Dispel. And we have a... Fang location, ward and evasive. Oh my gosh, I can totally see a deck where you play Jim Hawkins, the one who lets you play a, lo a location four cost or less for free. Play this out, move them there, sit there and quest. <gasps> Prince Eric! Oh my gosh, guys, we revealed Teeth and Ambitions for set two. And the moment I saw this guy, I was like, wow, what a beautiful singer of Teeth and Ambitions. Take the two damage himself, get banished himself. Deal two damage to something else with teeth, and then he may banish chosen character. Goodness gracious. And an Eeyore in the foil slot. I'm very pleased with this box. Like, I... Oof, this... That's a good day. Okay. First box of End of the Ink Lands. Coming in hot. The Firebird. Repair. Chief Tui, Moana, Strike a Good Match, Kita, welcome to the Inklands. And we have Tiana's Palace, stopping those challenges from characters there. Hey, hey, Mata Nui, pretty cool ramp. And we have a rare Ursula Sea Witch. I like it. Whenever this character quests, chosen opposing character can't ready at the start of the turn. That's pretty legit. Rewarding questing. And along came Zeus. This is a card I definitely wanted for that, that gauntlet deck, so pretty sweet. And friend like me, with the legendary Grandma Tala, I can actually see this being worth it. Even if you give your opponent three ink just like you, I mean, hey, getting three lore for it, that's pretty sweet. Okay, we got two packs left, guys. We're gonna open Jafar first. We're gonna save Minnie Mouse for later. Save her for last. One of those main Disney characters, you know, we're gonna give them the respect. All right, bestow a gift. You telling me something, Pack? Cl uh, Kit Cloud Kicker, uh, Kita, Della, Deville Mana, Heal What Has Been Hurt, 
Kit Cloud Kicker again. Love the lore. Mr. Smee, wonderful uncommon. And slightly a rare friend like me, just like we're saying it. I like it. And a Sheriff of Nottingham, the beast of the bayou himself. Goodness gracious, we can turn all that discard into exactly what we want. Damage on opposing characters. I love it. And we have a foil cubby. Okay, so we are on the final pack. Last pack Lorcana, as we like to call it. Hopefully we can get a little more Disney magic, but if not, I already consider the Disney magic we have in front of us to be enough. I take what I'm given. All right, Magicka Dispel, Distract, Nottingham, oop, skipped one, Voyage, Flotsam, Joshua Sweet, Has Set My Heart, ooh, Nala Pindy again. We got a Sumerian Talisman, good ruby card draw. And then, for the first slot, we have a rare Maui's Fish Hook. Underrated. Even if you don't have a Maui out, I think giving something evasive or plus three strength for the turn, that's pretty legit. And we have a rare Robin Hood. Look at that John Lauren art. Goodness gracious. An absolute beauty. And for the last pack, we have a foil Common quick patch. Okay, guys. The pulls. Of course, we had supers galore. Supers galore. We had, what is that? Five, ten super rares. And then we had, well, and that's not even counting the foil Alice in the super rare, too. Four legendaries, but the main event. The sorcerer's hat enchanted. What an absolute beauty. I love the gold trim when it's on this full treatment. It kind of frames the card beautifully. Whew, what a legendary moment. But that brings us to the, the end of the video. I appreciate you for watching the entire video. If you got it this far, hit that subscribe button so you can see more box opening content from us. We're gonna be opening a box each on camera. Tyler's box video will be coming next. Alex's may be coming after that. But regardless, I had a great time. I hope you had a great time. Comment below uh, what your thoughts were when I pulled that Enchanted, or if you had any sweet pulls yourself during this box release weekend. It's been great, but until next time, peace.